Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we will be talking about a worrying issue for our society, consumerism. But before starting, don't forget to like and click subscribe, so you can help us grow and bring important content every week. Let's get going. First of all, we have to understand what consumerism actually means. Consumerism is the purchase and accumulation of goods which are not essential or exceed a quantity considered sufficient. Consumerism has basically defined our society after the Industrial Revolution. Today, it represents a sign of socioeconomic inequality and one of the contributing factors to climate change and its effects on biodiversity. Consumerism benefits all three sectors of production, primary, secondary, and tertiary, and it involves industries from agriculture to metallurgy. Consumerism presents a threat to human society as well as to the natural environment and biodiversity. Some examples include unsustainable livestock production, responsible for 14% of greenhouse gas emissions. According to the current projections, by 2050, meat consumption alone will increase by 75%. Globally, 12 million tons of plastic reach the oceans, threatening more than 1,300 marine species. These plastics include wraps, bags, trays, toys, medical supplies, and many others. Speaking of plastic, did you know that in the European Union alone, 40% of the plastic produced is single-use, of which only 30% is recycled? All production and excessive consumption produces more than 2.1 billion tons of waste each year. Of all this, only 16% gets recycled. As we said earlier, socioeconomic inequality makes first world countries the main sources of consumerism. Take the United States, which creates 12% of global waste with only 4% of the global population. Another big problem is the excessive consumption of basic services such as electricity, water or fuel. It must be understood that these are not renewable in addition to the fact that their production has severe impacts on the environment. On average, a family of four people, from a middle to high economic class family, consume around 152 kilowatt hours per month, 920 liters of water a day, and 8.92 liters of gasoline per 100 kilometers. Here concludes the first part of this video. In part two, we will talk about how to change your consumption patterns without having to give up the benefits of a modern world. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share. See you soon.